Hi there, my name is Corey Anko. I am the interim curator here at the Draper Naturalist Museum at the Buffalo Bell Center of the West. And here in the Draper Naturalist Museum, we maintain a repository of specimens that represent the spectrum of biodiversity found here in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Conservation is concerned with the loss of biodiversity and the study of that loss and what we can do to prevent those losses. Specimens like this cedar waxwing are really important because in museum collections, specimens represent a snapshot in time. So as environments shift and change, sometimes the distribution of those organisms changes. As environments shift, plants and animals may shift as well. Um, life responds to disturbance in one of three ways. They can adapt to that new disturbance, they can thrive in that disturbance, or they can perish. And so in instances where wildlife perishes, museum collections and specimens may be the only physical records of their existence. Another way we leverage conservation messaging to the public is through our educational ambassadors with the Draper Museum Raptor Experience Program. Without further ado, here is Melissa Hill. Hi, I'm Melissa with the Draper Museum Raptor Experience. Here at the Center of the West, we do have a live raptor education program, and that's where we take care of 12 permanently non-releasable birds. So every one of our birds is rescued, and they're all here because they can't survive on their own in the wild. So now they help teach our guests about why wildlife is so important, about the amazing adaptations they have to survive out there in the wild, and to give our guests a chance to see some animals up close that they really wouldn't have that chance with in the wild. If you'd like to support our efforts, because we are a nonprofit organization, you can always donate to our cause and help us feed our birds. The easiest way to do that is to visit centerofthewest.org slash raptors. So just as our raptor program has educational ambassadors, our specimens in the same way are representative of their species. The structure of DNA was, was discovered in the 1950s by Rosalind Franklin. Fast forward 70 years later, and now we're cloning entire organisms. Everything that you're made of, your hair, your skin, your nails, your bone, it's all made of DNA. So by maintaining a collection of specimens, we can extract DNA from all of these organisms. And that's important because as we use these in collections, as we use these in research in our exhibits, the advancement of technology allows us to ask and answer questions that we never thought were possible. And the Draper is unique in that we are the only repository specifically dedicated to the biodiversity, the fauna, and the flora of wildlife in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem.